when we're writing a track, we need to be thinking about, well, what is the main idea of this track? And everything else needs to fit in around this, whether that's songwriting, arranging, or mixing, or any other little detail you can think of. We need to be focusing in on one main idea, and we need to be quite specific and have intention with what this main idea is. So in the case of most dubstep tracks, this tends to be bass and sound design. And in this track here, it is in fact bass and sound design. The main focus of this track, the main thing that gets me excited, the main thing that I would define this track as is gonna be the interesting bass sound design. In particular, if we take a look at some of these cool bass sounds, I absolutely love them. Like that bass sound alone is enough to center an entire track around. That whole theme of a, an interesting moving bass that moves side to side and squeezes you and moves around rhythmically and it's got a great shine to it. It just sounds amazing. So the main intent of this track is sound design and interesting bass that gets people excited. And that's one of the main things you hear in dubstep. Although it's not the only way to do dubstep. Some dubstep tracks you may focus in on an interesting set of melodies or it may be an interesting vibe or a whole ambience that's created. Whatever it is, when you're writing your track, as soon as possible when you're writing, and you can latch on to the fact that one thing will be your main idea everything else needs to flow around it. So when I was arranging this track and I'd written the drop section and I thought, right, the main idea behind this track is interesting bass and sound design. I wanted to make sure that the entire arrangement focused on that. So for example, we have a good chunk of this entire track purely being bass sounds. We have this entire zone here and this entire zone here. Whereas if, for example, it was more melody driven, then I might have extended the middle bits or done an interesting breakdown or if maybe it was more about vibe, I would have laid things out in a less structured way. It would have been more of a continuous drum beat and more about the vibe. Whatever it is, when you're writing your track, everything needs to be focused around this main idea and it needs to allow that main idea to shine. And another example of this is in the way I mix this track. Because everything needs to focus in on that bass and that interesting bass sound design, I made sure that in the mix, this bass was as loud as possible and nothing else was distracting from this when the bass sound is happening. So when you hear this bass sound, which is my favorite one of the tracks, it's as loud, especially in the master, as loud as it possibly can be, and nothing else is getting in the way of it. In fact, even down to the little songwriting details, I removed a lot of the fills around my favorite bit of bass. 